Howdy Virgo, my name is Simply Velka and I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading this week for January 2023. So we're going to be talking about your social relationships, we're going to be talking about what's going on for you in your life right now, what's manifesting, and then at the end we'll be talking about uh, doing an oracle reading for you and seeing what messages your spirit guides and ancestors want to be telling you. So if that's of interest to you, darling, keep on watching, honey. Alrighty Virgo, so let's get right into this here, alright? So we're going to be starting out just with your general energy, see what's going on for you, but first and foremost, before I even show you what's going on with these cards here let's start out with the back of the deck energy all right being the world card for you virgo all right now the world card is the final card in the major arcana representing the the ending of the fool's journey to begin a whole new one again all right so very fitting for you virgo all right and just in general with the energies of things this is the new year we're just starting the first of the month honey like it's very fitting for you all right the thing about this is virgo i feel like for you this year is going to be very different because i feel like you're making the choice and just really changing your story here all right because uh, we have this nine of wands in the reverse and then this emperor card coming in here virgo and so i feel like your life story right now like what you don't really see coming and then afterwards the magician card by the way so really just fabulous after fabulous after fabulous but you might if you're not familiar 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 with tarot virgo you might be like, Velk, you're showing me all these cards, but I don't know what it means. Don't worry, girl. That's my job to tell you about it. And so I feel like, Virgo, you have been so stubborn when it comes to like living out your destiny. And I know that that can sound really corny or just like over the top. And on some level it is, but it's like what I mean, what I mean by this, Virgo, is like you have been, you have received signs time, like time and time again. And I wanted to say years, if you notice, I like just, uh, paused for half a, half a biscuit where it's just like, oh, you you know, like, I feel like you have consistently on some deep level of yours, Virgo, you have known what you wanted to do with your life. You have known like what it is like you are destined for. You know, for example, for me, Virgo, I always knew that I was going to have some type of voice, some type of public platform. How that manifested was very different than what it was initially, right? I used to always say I was, I wanted to be a famous drag queen, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and now I'm a tarot reader, right? And so uh, your story, you know, the details might have changed for you, Virgo, but on some level, you have ultimately meant to be like the leader of your own life. All right. And I know, especially, you know, in nowadays, especially with our whole hustle culture that has become very normalized, not a bad thing necessarily, but it's just like everyone's looking for a way to be self-employed. Everyone's looking for a way to be their own boss. Right. But the thing about it is, you know, let's just be very realistic. Some people are not meant to be their own boss. Some people are not, you know, some people do better with direction but the thing about it is for you virgo that's not your story like you were actually legitimately meant to run your own ish all right I feel like when it comes to certain jobs that you've tried to do, um, it really has always gone to this point where it's just like, oh, but you're like always craving more, right? It's always been this sense for you, Virgo, where it's just like, it may pay well, or it may not even be paying you what it is that you deserve. And it's like, you'll work a job and you're just like, I can't see myself doing this for too much longer. And that is because the emperor, honey, the emperor does not do well with listening to other people's uh, telling them what to do, Virgo. And you don't do well with that either, because it's like, even if you you were to like work like whatever random job right you on some level have always been virgo at this place where it's just like you know what? i could do this better i could do this more efficiently i feel like you've even had arguments uh with your managers with your bosses virgo or with your co-workers where you're just like no we could do this so much more efficiently you know you've like you've always had such a grander vision for whatever it is that you do and people just have not given you that credit you know people have not been willing to listen to you and what have you and i feel like this year for you especially Virgo is going to be a year where it's just like you're no longer fighting or resisting what it is that you've been needing to do all right now with this nine of wands this nine of wands is the wounded warrior darling right and so for you i feel like if we were to be honest when it comes to your financial endeavors i feel like you will go to a job you know and then it's just like it'll eventually certain problems will consistently just end up manifesting like i was talking about beforehand so it's just like you will always reach to a certain point virgo where it's just like you are just personally suffering because of this is just not you're not meant to be working a nine to five you're not meant to be listening to what other people uh tell you what to do like you're meant to just be fleeting in your own light whatever it is that you're personally meant to do all right virgo so let me know in the comments below what that is about for you all right 
So let's get into your main tarot cards here. And by the way, Virgo, I just launched a podcast, so I would love for you to check it out. I have a link down below and up above here, honey. Uh, it's a spiritual podcast, so check it out if you want to. But let's get into your main cards here. All right. We have the seven, the eight, and then the queen of pentacles here. All right. A lot of pentacle energy. So definitely finances seem to be the name of the game for you. As well, pentacle energy is referring to like that earth uh, energy. So it's just like things stabilizing, what have you, Virgo. All right. And the thing about it is you, right now for you, Virgo, your spiritual team is at this point where it's just like, all right, you know, it's time to, it's just time to uproot yourself. It's time to put your roots into something, into soils that are actually going to elevate you. I'm like, I'm just consistently hearing like the, uh, being, the reason why I'm snapping my fingers is because I feel like that's what you're, I'm being shown like that's what your spiritual team is doing, where it's just like, all right, like when time, when are we going to step up to the plate? When are you going to claim your crown? Because now I'm being shown like the scenario of like a, of, of of the monarchy and then like you just being like sitting there staring at the crown and you're just like oh i'm not ready yet darling you are completely ready you know and i know this because you have this queen of pentacles coming in here the queen of pentacles is very thrifty and as well the queen of pentacles is somebody who uh knows how to take care of themselves so like you are a hustler you are a survivor Virgo, you know how to take care of yourself, but the Queen of Pentacles also has in their environment, in their uh, social circles, um, especially spiritual circles as well, like they have a very beautiful support system to uplift them and make sure that they're taken care of. So for you, Virgo, you might be having some anxiety when it comes to doing certain things in your life because you're just like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready yet. You know, like it's, I feel like the journey uh, for you ahead is very daunting initially you know it's very daunting for you with the idea of conceptualizing that you are sitting on your own throne you know and starting your own business or what have you all right that journey seems really daunting but you are taken care of all right you definitely can handle it now the eight of pentacles can refer to going back to school to further your knowledge about things but ultimately it's just a card of like going up in the world all right virgo so that's what you're really destined towards all right you're ultimately really destined towards sinking your roots into something that actually fulfills you all right and so let's continue on here let's get some clarifiers before we move on to your social chariot card coming in here four of swords and then the queen of swords stepping forward as well interesting so for you virgo just to wrap up this general portion of your reading here <clears throat> i feel like the best course of action for you now i don't know if social relationships are like a main priority for you you might be wanting love and all of that there all right full disclosure i don't really see love happening for you at this current point in time the reason why i say this is because to me i see this as where it's just like you're going to go full speed ahead virgo when you are no longer like entertaining outside noises when you're not answering your phone to every single person that's trying to get your attention or what have you and you're just about your business here all right the queen of swords she is somebody that is practicing really solid boundaries she's on a mission and she's not going to allow anyone or anything to uh interrupt that flow here and so i will be very transparent with you virgo in that i don't really see you entertaining certain relationships if you do i mean that's fine all right that's your life to live you know those are your choices here but i see for you when it comes to like your finances and just your earthly again whatever your earthly desires are virgo full speed ahead when you are practicing that queen of swords four of swords where you're just like you know what i'm turning off my phone i'm making myself less available to people and i'll connect you at a later point in time when i'm more uh situated when i have my roots buried into something and so that's what I feel like your uh, situation is going to be uh, for a while, Virgo. All right. So now let's talk about your social relationships. This could be romantic, platonic, family, business, and what have you. All right. And so for you, Virgo, we have the five of pentacles with the king and six of cups coming in here. All right, Virgo, this reads off to me. Virgo, where it's just like you are very emotionally mature. And I feel like the people that you want to have relationships with are just not at your same level when it comes to your maturity. All right. So it's just like, let's just say, for example, Virgo, you have like this one best, because I feel like that's what it is. It's like you have someone that's like you hold dear and close to you with that six of cups, right? They mean a lot to you, Virgo. But at the same time, 
there's this sense with this five of pentacles here where it's just like you are not feeling like you belong anymore or like you don't fit into their life in some type of way here all right where it's just like you know maybe you've had this friend since like high school virgo and it's just like that for certain friend just really hasn't fully grown up all right you know i'm just gonna be very blunt here virgo i feel like you what it is that you're searching for out of relationships in your life is very deep you're wanting substance in your life right now and i just feel like some type of relationship in your past it's like not to say that they're vapid or surface level or anything like that virgo but for whatever the reasoning is like you just are not being very fulfilled by these relationships anymore and i feel like that's part of the reason why it's time for you to just like buckle down and do your own thing all right, so let's start clarifying all this here. We have the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, and then the Temperance card coming in here. So confirming here, Virgo, all right? To me, Virgo, this is a sense of where it's just like, you're not necessarily move, like cutting people out of your life necessarily. I feel like you're kind of putting yourself at a distance between you and other people but you will find yourself back into your like you'll find yourself reconnecting with the people that are meant to be part of your life right just like the same as i was saying before and like you maybe have like a best friend from high school or something like that but right now like y'all are just not clicking and i feel like there's there's the reason why certain relationships haven't really been working out to the best that they could currently is because it's like you know there's certain times in our life virgo where it's like you, you know you're meant to be walking with certain people but there's also a certain point in time in our lives that happen new times throughout our lifetime where it's like we have to branch out on our own go experience our own journey and just like them y'all have to just like split apart but when you reconvene virgo things will be beautiful again and so that's why you have this temperance card telling you virgo just like have patience at this time darling things are going to figure themselves out all right they're going to be figuring themselves out but right now you need to make this journey just about you all right you need to go out on your own, gain some life experiences, talk to new people, you know, do what you need to do. All right. And then when the time comes, certain people reconnect with your life, as well as just certain people that you're meant to are you're just meant to re be in a deep connection with whether you know them or not all right because i do feel like for you virgo you know again like i don't really feel like for you social relationships are a main priority for you um if they are like i feel like the best like the best course of action if you are trying to uh bring forth very fulfilling relationships or substantial relationships in your life virgo is by making this first portion of this year just on your own journey all right that's so it's like you're dealing with all these resistances right now because it's time for you to go on your own for a little bit it's not going to be permanent all right virgo so that's what i have on that my darling virgo now let's get into your or oracle if i can speak it properly uh pronounce it properly virgo let's get into your oracle reading for today see what's going on what your spirit guides your ancestors have to be saying to you today so the first card coming out here is the frog spirit number 28 equaling to one in numerology virgo so the one in numerology very powerful number all right it has associations with the magician card which is the card that i actually pulled for you if i can find it right if you remember from earlier earlier virgo you know so it's just like it, it's kind of interesting how we keep on stressing like this sense of like going out on your own independence and all of that and we get the number one consistency same with the magician like you are the magician i feel like right now anyways aside from that you have the frog spirit saying clearing out the clutter all right and so it's never really too pleasant to refer to people as clutter but i feel like it's really important for you right now virgo just to be to yourself so you can clear out the clutter and be able to give your give your 2023 a fighting chance and i feel like the best way you give yourself that fighting chance virgo is just by going solo for a little bit by relying on just you and you you and you only the uh, moon oracle card that we got for you was the last quarter moon in scorpio revealing what needs to be seen let's get a tarot card clarifying that there the death card coming in here as well as the two of swords now both of these cards came in the reverse virgo all right i'm going to be showing you here in the moment uh both of these cards came into the reverse so it's not saying necessarily virgo where it's just like hey you're going to be cutting certain people out, all right? I feel like you need to just be honest with yourself that there is definitely certain things in your life that you just need to cut out, all right? For now, you'll come back to it eventually, but there's, it's like you're, what I get here is like you're delaying the inevitable. So what are you afraid of letting go of? I've been translating this as people, but this could easily just be the sense of like your job and what we were talking about beforehand as well. There's something that you have been really avoiding 
uh, closing that chapter out for a while and starting this new path, starting this new journey for yourself as the two of swords, because you didn't want to let something go. So what is it that you don't want to let go of Virgo? All right. And that's the weekly tarot reading that, that I have for you today. Hopefully something in here resonated Virgo and I'll connect to you sometime in the near future. Bye darling Virgo.